After months of cultivation of the relationship between initiating partner and operating partner, and after careful preparation by both partners following the development phase, you have finally arrived at the implementation phase of your LWW project. You and your partner will work together for several days, installing equipment and educating teachers. The excitement is high as you approach the culmination of your project and the dedication of your water system. The future looks bright. But before you complete your implementation visit, a critical step remains, the development of a sound system management plan. When properly managed, your water system will be capable of providing affordable, safe water for a generation and more. But good management and financial independence happen not by accident, but through careful and deliberate planning with an eye to sustainability. Your partner should be able to become self-sufficient within the period of your initial covenant and continue so indefinitely. This system management plan is the tool that you and your OP will use to plan wisely for the day-to-day, month-to-month, and year-to-year operation and maintenance of the system. Good practices established from the start can ensure smooth and efficient operation even when challenges arise, and they will. A solid management plan includes responsibilities of the water committee, responsibilities of personnel, operators and delivery persons, pricing and operating hours, promotion of the product in the community, record keeping, both operational and financial. You should plan to introduce this document to your OP on the development visit and leave a copy with them at that time so they can become familiar with its contents and begin to think about management issues. But it is during the implementation phase that you and your partner will work together to complete this document by making the detailed decisions that will guide them as they begin operations. Finally, all partners will sign the document with copies for the IP, the OP, and the network coordinating team. So let's look at the specifics of this crucial document. First, the responsibilities of the Water Committee. Although not ordinarily engaged in the daily operation of the system, this group of local leaders is ultimately responsible for oversight of system operations and finances, management of personnel, communication with the IP and the in-country network coordinator, compliance with all government health regulations, maintenance of the ministry character of the system even while establishing sound business practices promotion of the water and increase of distribution, continuation of health education throughout the community, planning for and saving funds for future repairs, maintenance of the membership of the Water Committee. The details of these responsibilities appear on the first page of the System Management Plan, and the members of the Water Committee accept these responsibilities by their signatures. Pages 7 and 8 of the document contain a worksheet for the committee to begin their planning. Next, we see a list of the responsibilities of personnel, the operators and delivery persons. All personnel report to the Water Committee. They are responsible for proper operation and maintenance of the equipment, quality control, cleanliness of the building and premises, and record-keeping. The Water Committee will decide wage levels, remembering that good wages are a good investment. Frequent turnover of operators poses a real threat to system viability, while well-paid operators tend to stay on the job and perform well. The next section concerns hours of operation. These hours should be posted prominently on the exterior of the water building and should be followed faithfully. In most cases, the safe water will be sold in order to cover expenses of production. Pricing of the water is a decision of the committee, as is the amount to be charged for bottle deposit. Remembering that this is a ministry, it is important that the price be affordable, well below that of large commercial bottlers, if they are present, but high enough to sustain the operational and periodic maintenance costs of the system. The committee may elect to donate the water free to schools, clinics, etc., but in the case of individuals, reduced price is usually preferable to gratis, as many people equate free with valueless. Pricing, of course, is very different from one system to another, depending upon specific circumstances. 
How will the safe water be delivered to homes? Some may be able to pick it up at the water building, but it's far more likely that the project will succeed if home delivery is available. What marketing tools will the committee use to promote increased distribution? Every system must achieve the break-even point, which requires that a certain minimum income be realized. Otherwise, the system cannot long survive. It's generally not true that if you build it, they will come. So, promotion and sales are a key element in the management plan. And finally, record keeping. Since this may or may not be a skill your OP has developed or mastered, some assistance will be required. The last two pages of this document provide sample maintenance log that you may modify. You will want to provide the sample financial logs you received at Clean Water U as well, including bottles sold, income, expenses, and daily balances. Visiting a nearby successful water system to learn best practices in all aspects of the mission, not just system operation, but also how to keep track of finances and health education implementation, can be a key part of building a sound management plan. If there is a well-managed system nearby that your new OP can learn from, arrange for them to do some on-site learning with them before and after your implementation visit. It can be a great help not only in the level of knowledge gained, but also in the reduction of anxiety on the part of a new OP. All of this seems like a lot of work, doesn't it? But think of all the work you and your partner have already invested in this project. This management plan is your best assurance that your work will pay great dividends, as you will see on your reunion visits, when the water system is healthy and thriving and moving towards self-sufficiency.